Hey y'all, it's your girl Chastity J and I'm back with a quick message from God. So y'all, y'all, since Saturday, God has been showing me the scripture, Isaiah 43 verse 2. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like I've been a little weary um, when it comes to certain things, certain promises, and I've been having to repent and surrender my fears because my fears have been getting in the way and um, allowed me to um, be double-minded. And I've been having to pray against double-mindedness and just lean on to God more than ever. This message is, and apply it how it needs to be applied, but this message is um, for those that are in their marriage season. I know just like myself, it may seem like you're, you're like, I don't see it, Jesus. If God has promised you marriage for this year, and if you know, you know. Don't just take a word or put yourself in a season that God has not confirmed that that's the season you're in. Please, 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 as always, go back to God and confirm with him whether whether or not this is your marriage season. So God, um, this again, this is for those that are in their marriage season. Sorry, I'm still in the car. Um, God has been saying, continue trusting him, continue trusting him and, you know, apply it how it needs to be applied. As I said, uh, take this word back to God, as I always tell y'all and get confirmation uh, for what season you're in, because we're all in different seasons. But if you're like in a different, if God has been showing you a different promise, um, whether it's for a job, relocation, um, you know, children, business, whatever, apply how it needs to be applied and confirm with God first and foremost. But for those that are weary when it comes to your marriage season and really when it comes to any and everything, whatever season you're in or whatever promises that God has revealed to you that um, you're in expectation of receiving, God says, lean on to him. I'm going to read y'all a prayer that's in this, um, the single women's prayer book that I read every single day um but this is when i first well no i take that back um so quick backstory i first saw this uh prayer well this scripture saturday my complex had a pool party and kona ice was there and kona ice had a scripture on the front of their uh on the side of their truck and um it basically said i will go through deep waters um and be with you or to save you and I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I love that. I, you know, I'm not really, didn't know it really much about Kona Ice, to be honest, like uh, their belief or anything. Um, so I took a picture of it and I posted it on my Instagram story. That same night when I read this, uh, the prayer for the day and read the, um, the scripture, it happened to be, again, Isaiah 43, verse 2. Then the next day, um not Sunday, yesterday, I was having a conversation with one of my sisters in Christ. Um, and she mentioned the prayer too. Uh, I mean, the scripture too. And then this morning when I woke up, y'all, the prayer of the scripture of the day was Isaiah 43 verse two. Like I just looked at my notifications. I know I get mine at like 1245 or something on the Bible app, the Brown Bible app. And that was the scripture. Like that was the scripture for today. I just clicked on it. I just saw deep waters um, on my notifications, And I was like, I know, I know not. I know it's not Isaiah 43 too. And I don't know about y'all, but for me, when God shows me something more than twice, I know that's him speaking to me and him giving me confirmation of certain things. So God kept showing me that scripture and I'm like, okay, I know you're, I know that is your way of telling me to just trust you, just trust you that um, everything is coming. You are working behind closed doors, whether I see it or not, that uh, you're working and everything out and I know he is y'all like I was just like oh wow like it just really made my heart just 
smile and gave me so much comfort, um, so much confidence and um, even more trust in God. Not to say I wasn't trusting him prior to seeing this scripture, but it just definitely eased my mind and my heart um, and just gave me confirmation that I know he's listening and that he is confirming um, the season that I'm in because y'all, I've been weary. Like I have been weary because um, some things transpired last week and then things kind of shifted and I was like, Jesus, what happened? So I got weary. I mean, I'm human. I am human at the end of the day. But let me read y'all this prayer real quick. And this is for anyone that may be, um, may be weary or maybe going through their own storm and um, kind of losing trust in God or, you know, well, kind of losing trust in God and questioning whatever promises he promised you. It's uh, called Praising God Through the Storm. Dear Lord, it's been a tough season. You already know where my heart is at, but I wanted to share this with you personally. My heart is troubled and it is difficult for it is difficult for me to see through this storm. Help me, Lord, to focus only on you so that I may walk into your loving arms. Give me the strength to endure these troubles. Holy Spirit, set my heart to worry less and and to seek only you. I know you say to count my joys through the various trials, but Lord, I need your help with that. Help me to see your joys while I'm facing this storm. Remind me of your goodness. I desire to praise you. Lord, as I go as I go through the remainder of my rainy days, I know that you are right here with me and that your promises are already ahead of me. I want to give thanks in the midst of this storm specifically for a name, whatever. I know that you're going to help me through this, Lord. So I'm asking for your peace and comfort right now. Still these rushing waters, still my worried heart in your name. Amen. And so uh, Isaiah 43 verse 2 says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When, when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Y'all, pray that prayer. If you are a little weary and second guessing God and you're like, but Jesus, I do not see how you're doing whatever it is because we're not going to be able to see it. Like God does wonders and he is working behind closed doors. And just because you can't see uh, the things that he's doing with your physical eyes does not mean that he's not doing them. You better use your spiritual eyes and you better uh, fight like you've never fought before. Get into prayer, y'all. Prayer is the um, best way to fight the enemy and to fight the negative thoughts, to fight the weariness, to fight the fear, y'all. Fear is a fear is a uh, sin, so y'all need to pray against it. sin. I know over the weekend I had to um, renounce a lot of things um, that I was tied to, like when it comes to fear, the spirit of fear. And it was so many things when it comes to my marriage. Like I literally had to renounce, um, renounce the spirit of fear when it comes to commitment, when it comes to marriage, when it comes to divorce, when it comes to, um, you know, um, my mirror is not lasting long when it comes to death of my spouse uh, prematurely. Just a lot of things that I personally hadn't realized were were fears like um, in negative thoughts. So I had to renounce those fears and just truly go to God and just pray with um pray over those things and that's something that i've been doing daily now but um y'all make sure y'all are going to god like going to god and trusting him god says he will be there for you he will go through deep waters he will go through burning flames to protect you he will um when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, y'all. Make sure you are trusting him. That scripture is Isaiah 43, verse 2. So go and read it for yourself. Y'all need to be getting into your word uh, anyways and spending time with God and truly getting to know the word for yourself and apply it how it needs to be applied. I know that's something that I pray about every day excuse me, for God to uh, quiet my mind and allow me to, um, 
use my um spiritual eyes and ears to hear whatever he is uh his word says and understand and to apply it to my physical life and you know just make sure you are just going to him and getting to know him so y'all those that are weary those that are in their marriage season or whatever season that you may be in again apply it apply it how it needs to be applied but make sure you see god and confirm what season you are in um your spouse is coming and it ain't to don't don't come in or email me and say when because it doesn't look like it he's not gonna come if you're he or she is not gonna come if you are not believing god if you're not trusting god if god told you uh you're gonna this is the year of bride for you this is the year that uh you are going to get married then you have to trust him despite what it looks like. Like, I'm trusting him. I ain't even dating y'all. So I'm trusting God. I'm like, okay, if that's what you said, the season I'm in, I accept it and I trust you full, fully and wholeheartedly because it may look crazy, y'all. A lot of people, it may look crazy. It may look, you're like, I don't see how. Or others may be telling you how you get married. You ain't even dating nobody. That's not for them. That's not their business. You, uh, God is. God is the only person that it should make sense to because he's the one handing out these blessings. He's the one who has this ordained and planned for your life. So as always, take this word back to God um, to get confirmation that this was a word for you. If you are weary, if you are in a season um, of waiting and waiting on certain promises from God and you're a little weary, um, you're doubting um, those things because you don't see with your physical eyes what god is doing he's working behind closed doors he is working behind closed doors and go and uh read isaiah 43 verse 2 really you could read isaiah 43 the whole chapter um for for some encouragement and some motivation and the strength to continue pushing forward and continue trusting god go and read that y'all isaiah 43 verse 2 but I hope uh, this blessed y'all just like it did for me because all of these confirmations, I was like, okay, thank you, Jesus. Like I literally, this scripture since Saturday, I've seen it four times and I was like, okay, God, I know you're speaking because this is stuff I've been praying about. Like this is things I've been going to him and I'm like, God, I'm, I, I trust you. You know, it's like we get hot and cold. I trust you, God, but I don't see it. I don't see how it's possible. I don't see it. I don't see how I'm supposed to be getting married. I don't see it. Like, it's not making sense. And he's like, it's not going to make sense. You just need to trust me. If you trust me, allow me to do my job. So pray that prayer uh, that I mentioned earlier of trusting God through the storm and go read your Bible, get in your word and, um, you know, just talk to God and just allow him to give you confirmation and give you strength. All right, y'all. Um, special shout out to all of my subscribers and supporters. I truly appreciate you guys and thank y'all. Send this video to about five people that may be a little weary um, in their season that they're currently in and may need some encouragement. And again, that could be your season of marriage. That could be business, um, your family or children, um, school, you know, whatever season that you may be in. This can definitely be some type of encouragement for you to continue trusting God through your storm. All right, y'all have a great day.